All right, Herb's trucking journey right here. There you go. Well, good morning to everybody. Actually, it's not morning. It is uh, 2.49 p.m. here at Lafayette, uh, Indiana. This is going to be my last Subaru run. They made me do like four or five. But uh, cool thing. I got something uh, pretty cool for you guys today. You see these glasses right here? You see this thing right here in the middle? So that, this is what you call a spy glass. It's not really a spy glass, but it's a camera glass. And the interesting part is, I get, you guys will get to see how I strap the load and how I put the cars on top while I'm driving and all that stuff. So I just press this little thing right here and it will start recording. So we'll see. I want to see how this video will actually look like. I, um, this is going to be my first time using it. And I just got this uh, camera glass just last night at one of the Amazon lockers at one of the truck stops. Pretty cool. All right. I'll see you guys. Peace out. Herb's Truck and Journey. All right. Here's my man, Vaughn, man. He's a quick loader. Look at that. He said he's uh, slowing down today and going to be kind of lazy, but... He's still pretty fast. Look at that. Today is slow day, man. Yeah. Day. I, use, I usually do two a day. Two a day? I'm, I'm taking my time today. All right. Hey, Vaughn, what do you got to say to my uh, my followers and my subscriber here? Oh, man, I ain't good with the camera, man. You ain't good with the camera? <laughs> hey, you got to be good with the camera, man. I mean, I hey, man, hey, let me tell you something. You ain't ugly. <laughs> you know, you ain't ugly. And I bet you some of the uh, my followers here, my subscriber ladies here, oh, yeah. could agree with me, you know? Oh, yeah, F follow me on uh, Instagram. Yeah, follow Vaughn on Instagram. What is it? Vaughn No Bands. Repeat it again. Vaughn No Bands. There you go, guys. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. All right, well, I'm, I'm going to get started here. I'm going to get my cars and try to get loaded. This guy's going to be, by the time I get my one car, he's probably going to be out of here, you know? All right, guys, I'm not sure if you're seeing this, but we need to get to TRX 49 and the way how this thing rolls is like, you see that thing, TXB. So we still got a little, um, a little wasp to go. But if you take a look at this, look at, this, look at the weather today. Jeez, man, it's like blue skies, clouds, and it's not that hot today, so it's pretty good. Anyways, I'll get back to you once I get to my car. All right, bye. All right, so this is gonna be the first car that's gonna be going in my position too, which is on top of the trailer. Now I'm just inspecting to see if everything is all. Uh, if it has any obvious damage. Um, I mean, we're looking pretty good here. All right. Pretty good. Pretty good. All right, so it looks like we got the right VIN here. So I just need to get this sticker because this is what I have to do to be able to get out of here. So if I don't get this sticker and put it in that sticker sheet, I'm gonna be able to get out. So let me just hide that thing right here. And we could actually drive up to that truck. Oh, there I go. Hello. Alright. Okay. We'll probably need that. Let's get out of here. We're riding. It's kind of windy. It is windy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, once you get your car, you're going to have to drive it. Uh, so, basically, you have to get your car. You have to walk to your car. But when you come back, you're going to have to drive it to your truck. So, my truck is right over there. So here I go. Alright. 
So my truck is located right over here. I hope you guys can hear me. I'm not sure if I have to raise up my voice a little louder, but yeah. Anyways, here's my truck. I'm gonna have to put this, back it up. Oh. Back it up all the way down there. Rogers. Okay, now, I'm not sure if you see that. We're gonna have to back that thing up right here. Okay, as long as I'm in the ramp. Should be good. Come on. There you go. So there you have it, guys. That's how you back up the car at the top of the trailer. Dude. That's how you back it up on top of the trailer, guys. You have to get out on top of the truck you have to put on your gloves so your hands doesn't get dirty so I'm on top of my truck right now and basically that's it man alright so this is how you have to strap up your tires. This you have to do it while you're up. You gotta bend your knees. Do some bending your knees a little bit here. Get that strap, put it in the middle of the tires. All right, so now that I got one on top, we need to get um, number two set up. So we need to take these out. Take that out. Take this out. Yeah. Now we need to put this down, so... What the hell? Why is that shit right there? Okay... to put this ramp down so we can actually get the second car right over here. Put this thing down over here. Yeah, it's on. While I'm doing it, man. Hey man, you're already done! You're already done! 
<laughs> yeah, man. You ready for the next one? You gonna come back after this one? Right, tomorrow? You need to get these safety pins out because you won't be able to put the ramp down. If you try. So. Here we are, What? If I ain't what? If you ain't take all my loads off the next one. Oh, no, I'm not going to say it. I think this is the last one, man. I'm just bullshit, man. I don't know, man. There's so many cars here. There's plenty for everybody, you know? Yeah, yeah. But anyways. All right, man. Hey, you drive safe. We'll keep in touch, man. Okay, so the next load is our next load. Out back right here. Pretty nice. Scratch, no dents, no damage. Here I am again. It is, I'm getting sweaty. But we are gonna go. Okay, good. This one is going to number two, so I'll show you where that is. I think I just set that up earlier, so number two is already set up. Which is good. Windy. Really windy. it on top all right so the next thing you got to do is secure the number two two spots so that you're gonna lift this up that's the reason why you need to secure it now okay. There. Get this. Guys, man, we are natural born car haulers. We know how to put the hook inside the hole. There you go. So that's one. We're gonna have to tighten this later on, so I'm just getting the strap ready before I get my bar. Oh, 
Wow. So get the bar. Now you get the bar. Get this bar. You better follow him, man. He gave me vitamin water. <laughs> All right, man. Hey, thank you. You heading out? Yeah, All right. Yeah, last one, and they're gonna send me somewhere else. So. Yeah. All right, hey, keep in touch, man. Go safe. He gave me some vitamin water. That's good. I like it. Now. I need to put this up. Oh shit. That's what we forgot. We be forgetting things. We need to put this at the bottom. For number three. That's set up for number three. Come on. Come on. So we got our number three set up. Um, we'll just get the strap off the way. on our way. Let's drink this nice cold beverage here. So nice of Juan. Thank you Juan for listening. Nice cold water. Vitamin water I mean. Alright. Alright so this is our Second car. I wonder how you turn off this damn shit. But anyways, I'm not gonna miss with it. Right now, let's get out of here and look to the left, look to the right, to the left, to the right. Every bit of little bus. Woo, it's windy. So we're gonna put this in number three. I'll show you guys where. I'm hands free by the way, so if you guys think, there you go. The camera, my glass. So don't think I'm like holding the phone while I'm driving. No, no, no. I cannot do that.
drop it in that pocket right there. Come on, let's drop it. Let's drop it on. So this is our fourth car. We're gonna put this one on number four. Position four. Oh man, sweat got in my eyes. Sting in my eyes. Like crazy. Sting in my eyes like crazy. Sting in my eyes like crazy. Ascent. Basically, this vehicle is as the same size as those Honda Pilots. Um, it's a uh, how many seaters? This is a seven seater. Yeah, it's a seven seater, or maybe an eight seater if you have a lot of little kids. So we're gonna put this one on number four. So, I'm not even sure if I'm recording this right, but we got that all set up. So all we gotta do is just back this thing in. We should be ready for that. All right, let's do this. We gotta make sure nobody's behind us. There's nobody behind us. Got our fifth car. Put that on position five. It's right there behind that truck right there. Right behind that uh, Ascent SUV. gonna get our all right so this is my sixth car and this is gonna go at that edge right over there right here Okay. 
Okay, the next thing we need to do before we load up the bottom, we have to secure the load. So we're gonna have to strap them up. Like what you see me doing right here. There you go, see? Just like that. Just put it on top of the tire and then for a tight tin it up here. And do one thing at a time so you don't go back and forth. Now some car haulers, they only do two straps, three straps. I'm all like, forget that. I'm still doing four straps. You do not know what happened. Papa Murphy. It's actually Murphy's Law, if you know what I mean. It happens. It's so unpredictable. So just make sure you strap all of them. Ah, a racer car, huh? Racer car. I'm not sure if you guys heard that, but see if it's trying to race here. Yes, we are recording. Okay. Just want to see. It. It's my first time using this um, camera glass thing, so I don't even know if I'm actually really recording or am I really just wasting my time doing this shit. Oh, we'll see. Oh, you're short. Probably at six foot. I'm gonna make it. Uh, now I have to climb a little bit. Not too much. Okay. Okay. Tightening it. I'm not really tightening the straps for the people that doesn't know. So that when I get around with my bar, I don't have to uh, tighten it a lot. So I like doing four straps. I don't care what people say. I'm gonna strap up the whole. 
to get a safe load. So that the load ain't going anywhere today. Secure it. I mean, who would want half security in this, right? Like, oh, your car should be secured. Nope. Imagine if uh, your girlfriend tells you that. Say, hey, am I secure with you? Uh, you know what? You're partially secured. You know, I don't think anyone else would like to hear that. Well, I don't think anybody would like to hear that they're partially secured. So, call your car hauling out there. I'm still doing car hauling, but let's go ahead and secure our loads to the maximum potential so that we don't have any regrets. You know what I'm saying? This part. drivers out there that wants to be a car hauler and you think somebody's gonna load the cars for you nope you're gonna be in a lot of surprise if you try this route you're gonna have to load up and unload your own cars boy otherwise if you want a no touch freight just stick to the dry vans and the refrigerated good thing about this is that <laughs> you can get your daily exercise, you know? So, as you notice, this is the last Strap here, and then I could get started in tightening up the load. So, all right. So, if you notice, my bar is right here, it's ready to go. Now I could tighten up the load starting from the end right here. So we're going to go around from the end all the way around. See that? Uh, okay. And then we go here and then we 
tight of all of these fun little boys right here. See? Put your bars in there. And then tighten it up right here. Like that rolling or revolving. Next one right here. And yes, I do not have the quick spins, but it's all good. It's all good. Okay, it's gonna get tight. balls right now. Look at this uh, waterfall sound there. Sheesh.
Okay. All right, I'm gonna go on a five minute break. See you guys later. Bye. All right, so I just got done with my five minute break. Now we're gonna have to lift up this, this thing right here. So here's my lovers. What up? After we lift this up, we have to like get rid of some of the straps here, put it aside. Okay, so get these straps put it aside. Excuse me. Job ain't your clean type of job like what I used to have. You're sitting nice and pretty in your office with your coat and ties. Nope. Down and dirty in this job. Alright. I'm done now to get my cars. This is our seventh car. Oh, man. It is getting hot in here. It's getting hot in here. I want to take off all my clothes. I am getting so hot. I want to take my clothes off. Oh man, I think my allergies are kicking in. 
runny your nose. You can sneeze too. Find a sneeze. I don't want to sneeze. up the straps, strap it and tighten it up and do our measurement and we could be ready to head out towards the drop off. We'll see if I if I'm able to do the drop off. I'll see if I be I'll be able to do a, a video on the drop off. Probably another separate video. You know what I mean. But yep. Let's get this. Oh, look at me. Aha! Okay. See, I'm sweating like a MF. Like an MF here. We're gonna put this on reverse. We're gonna drive this reverse on eight. Get the ascent on nine. That we should be good. skies and clouds. Now it just looks like it's gonna rain. Yeah, I need to hurry up or else I'm gonna be singing in the rain. Okay, so this should be my last Drive this thing, just be having long legs, man. I always have to adjust this thing. Just because I'm not a six footer. Damn. Five seven. 
Five, seven and a half. And as you grow older, you go shorter, right? So I don't know, I might be probably five, six right now. I got eight, I'm missing one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, that's good. So we got nine vehicles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Got it. Golden. Okay. 
Okay. Put the gloves back on. Buhai, 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 Tagalog or in English, Buhai means life. That's what it means. Buhai, Ay Buhai. Now that means our life. Oh, 
I actually missed life when it was actually a lot more simpler than this. Every time I load up, I reminisce the days. Reminisce the days. Heck, I don't know. I think I'll just work on my cyber security certificate. And get back to an office job. Some people don't like this job, and there are some people that's just meant for office. I think I was meant for office. I'm almost there.
is but just for the sake of the video I want to show you how it works make it go up there make it hit here then it's gonna be like 13 9 yep I'm like 13 9 13 9 ish almost 13 10 that's pretty good now you go up to the next one We're pretty good here. So, 
let me just open up my camera right here so that everybody can see me as well so that's me right there how is it going so how is this uh, new uh, camera glass doing did it work well I hope it did <laughs> so um, before we head out I'm gonna use a restroom and I'm gonna drink some water maybe get up five minutes turn off my PTO turn off the electric uh, whatever that electric something electric avenue and uh, we'll make it ah oh, yeah so okay um we are heading to basically this is i'm just showing you on how my days really are the next time i make these videos it's going to be a lot shorter of course but we're heading to uh there you go, Subaru Elbow Drop Lots. And then, after that, we could shut down. Uh, but we want to take the I 80 to the I 55 going south. So we go ahead and do this. Add to my active routes. Calculate. And. Mmm, ice cold coffee, the best, the best. So that's how it looks like. And all the stickers, I still have to do the stickers. So I'm not going to show you that boring part. I'm not going to show you that boring part of the thing, you know, of the video. But yep, there you go. All right, it's getting pretty dark in here. And it looks like it's really going to rain. So... I'm just checking to see if all the windows are closed so when I drive it does you know water doesn't go inside these vehicles. Yep, okay, we're good. Okay, so now we are currently driving. I'm gonna try to as you can see I'm hands-free, I'm using the glass camera, eyeglass camera, so guys out there don't tell me oh don't uh, shoot a video while you're driving you know don't worry it's hands-free so right now I'm just waiting for this red light so shit. okay so it's gonna turn green again and I guess I could go he has that green arrow I think I'm gonna shut down today. I'm not gonna do the drop. It's already like what six six twelve p.m. or something like that. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it a day. I'll probably just um, do my drop tomorrow morning like early in the morning because I still don't know where I'm going after this so I can't just drop it tonight it'll be totally pointless um, I just put myself in a predicament or put myself in a situation if I try to drop it off tonight because I won't be able to have a spot in the truck spots if, if ever if you know what I mean so yeah, I'm gonna call it a day. So right now, I'm just gonna be driving to the truck stop, guys. This is Herb's Trucking Journey. I am out.